once again, my brothers and sisters, good evening, Nigeria. We are ordinary citizens of this country. It's a sad to station now, right now, on Lokoja Express Highway. That situation we find ourselves this afternoon. And this has been going on. This is not the first time. For the past three months on this express, anybody that's following this express for the past three months will bear me witness on this. I remember in July that Muritala Bridge, the side of the bridge was, was spoiled, and they were to repair it. They blocked the one side of the bridge and they opened one side of the bridge. You can imagine how many the volume of car that pass through this road every day to be on one side of the bridge. We have government and everybody is keeping quiet, nobody is saying anything. His Excellency Governor Yabelo was here three days ago. And when you were going, he met such a hold up and he, he came down and started lamenting that how will this road be like this? For three months, they are not doing anything. For threat not loud in your state, this is the Kogi state. You don't you don't carry private jets from, from Lokoja to Abuja. You fly this road if you want to go to Abuja. Then you were here for three months, you could not do anything. You have Minister of Work number, you could not tell him, or you, you can ask who is the contractor that they gave this road. Then we should ask ourselves, do you, have a, do, you, do, you, do you have a leader in this country? Do you have a government? The answer is no to me. I don't know whether fellow Nigeria will say that we have government in this country, but to me, we don't have any government in this country. And this is what is going on every day. In this hold up right now, we have one day old baby, we have elderly person in this hold up, we have sick people in this hold up. This hold up has been here for the past 10 hours. And as I'm talking to you right now, we don't even know when this hold up is going to true. This is to six already, and you are still stuck in one place. Tell me, my brothers and sisters, where are we going? Do you have government? Look at it. This is a citizen that you came out and begged, vote for me. I want to do I want to do road. I want to stop. Please, can we ask ourselves this question? Can anybody tell me, anybody that's watching this, this video right now, can that person tell me and tell me this question? I want to ask that person. In any sector in this country, does any sector work 60% okay in this country? You want to talk about electricity? Electricity? Is it work 60%? No. Our road network, zero. Access to zero. Our education, zero. Then, what are we, what are, where, who are we in this country? In our own country, we are a slave. You could imagine if somebody is about to die, to rush to hospital at this time of day, where will that person survive? The answer is zero. That person will not survive it. And that's the situation, that's the country we find ourselves. And where we are talking right now, this core government right now, they are inside AC, they are enjoying themselves. I'm, I'm pity, I pity innocent Nigeria that will find ourselves in this situation. And when the election will come, I think, I believe, a, a, a Nigerian citizen will learn from this. We should not follow money. I want to advise my youth, like me, let's stand up, let's rise to this country. You don't need to collect 10 naira from anybody. You know who can do it. I don't want to say somebody will do it. But when they come, from 1960 that we get independent, the same set of people has been ruling this country, and there's no result, and we keep on following them. See, is it that, can we tell ourselves that, are we fool to follow those old cargo? The old cargo, are we upper soldier, back to Yaradua, back to Buhari, Babangida, Abasha, the same set of people, as we ruling this country, Symphony money, you could imagine a country that said good oil for 60 years could not close eyes and, re and do a 300 kilometer drug era in this country. A 300 kilometer, you said good oil for 60 years. Then ask yourself, ask yourself, where are we going in this country? Ask yourself, who is our messiah? Who is going to rescue us in this country? We are dying, we are crying. This is not fair. This this is not fair. What, who, 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 who do we offend? Who is that person that will offend this in this country? That cannot come and they just say, we are sorry. Please, God, we are sorry. We are sorry. God, we are sorry. 
If it's a sin, please forgive us. You have been punished us with this bad leader, bad government. Who, 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 who is going to rescue us in this country? Please, I build on God, God Almighty. Where you are high, have mercy on your children. We are getting, you are, you are getting tired. How could we be the outside? Why, why do we find ourselves in this situation? How do we find ourselves in this situation? A set of people since 1960. Last week, Thursday, we are celebrating independence. Please, my brother, what are we celebrating? Zero achievement. What are we celebrating? Ha! Huh? Where are we going? You are celebrating. I was surprised to see a youth take the Nigeria flag and start dancing. Dancing, what are you dancing of? Electricity zero. Road zero. Earth zero. Security zero. Where are we going? As we are right now, we don't know what can happen to us in the next seconds. Because everybody is stuck in the one place. Then who's going to rescue us? My brothers and sisters, I'm pleading on you. 2023 is far approach. They will come out and tell us whose story. If you have find this road, there is a dead three port on this road. He has been there for five years, nobody repairing it. Why? What are our friends? Who would you have found in this country? God, I'm pleading on you, Almighty God. Please rescue us with this country. This country called Nigeria. Where are we going? You people are there, eating money, siphoning money, millions of dollars. Where? Yesterday, the, the 2020 project, uh, 2020 budgets were presented to the National Assembly. 13 trillion. In this country, in 2020 budget, it has not been implemented. And you put, you are, you are not taking another budget to the National Assembly to approve it for you. My brothers and sisters, are you going to remain like this? I was hearing my president saying that you want to take 100 million Nigeria out of property in the next 10 years, out of property in the next 10 years. We bury him in office in the next 10 years. This man is sick. He doesn't know what he's saying. What are we doing in this country? They are taking us as a fool. We are youth. Let's say the truth. Let's say the truth in this country. A road, a bridge that does not up to 1.3 kilometer. God's point since three months ago. This is the only road that leaks west and east to Federal Capital 33, and nobody could do anything. More than, you can hear that? More than three months, and nobody could do anything. We are here suffering every day. Those are living in Kotokarufi, their hospital is Lakoja LMC. Now, let me now ask you this evening. If somebody is sick since one o'clock, this Kotokarufi is not up to four kilometers here to Lakoja. Now, what will happen to that person? In this country we call Nigeria. Please. I, I, I was here. I was here. The Yabel was here before yesterday. He came down and said, ah, ah, this road since three months ago. Are you asking me that question since three months ago? As a governor of a state, your state, your state, this is a shame. It's a shame to our leader. It's a shame. The, Fed, the, the, the Minister of Works, Baba Tunde Raji Fashola, I'm calling on your name, sir. When I know you in Lagos, I know you to be a better person. Now, what is going on? I don't really understand. You could imagine, Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, you want to construct a railway that will leak Niger Republic. Whereas, if you are going from here to Abia, if you are going to Umaya, going to Uyo, Calabar, Calabar is to road. Anybody that go to that, you go and ask anybody. That road is a dead road. What have I done? What have we done in this country? Who will you offend that cannot forgive us? If it is our sin, God, forgive us. Forgive us in this country. This is getting too much. This is getting too much. This pain, I don't know where, where, where we can lay in in auto. You could imagine. I'm saying it, I'm repeating it in again.